Police in Georgia say a woman passed out in the bathroom of a grocery store after overdosing on heroin and that it was her baby's cries. She lay there on the floor, which may have saved her. Tommy Thomas of our affiliate WSB is on the store. Again, that was Tony Thomas from our affiliate WSB reporting. We can tell you that the baby is now in state custody. Uh, now, on some of the other news that hits home on this Monday, uh, some experts now predicting the upcoming flu season will be a bad one, and the vaccine may not keep you protected. Also, women who have a heart attack in public are less likely to get CPR from a stranger than men and less likely to survive the system. And that's a look at some of the stories that hit home. Here, Bill Gates, who's putting $50 million toward the search for a cure because, as he tells CNN chief medical correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta, he believes there is a solution. We can all hope to. Sanjay, thanks again for that report. The controversial Republican tax plan now under fire from hundreds of millionaires and billionaires. Tax reform is complicated, it's confusing, and let's be honest, it can easily make your eyes glaze over. But it's not something to be ignored. It's about more, too, than what you'll pay. It's about the ripple effect of how proposed changes could impact this entire country. And now, more than 400 millionaires and billionaires are weighing in, sending a letter to lawmakers with a very clear message. Dear member of Congress, the letter reads, do not cut our taxes. We are deeply concerned that revenue loss would lead to deep cuts in critical services, such as education, Medicare and Medicaid, and would hamper our nation's ability to restore investments in our people and communities. Not millionaires, 540 billionaires in 2016. And in that same year, the Census Bureau recorded more than 40 million people living in poverty. HLN continues with more news that hits home ahead. The holiday shopping season is just around the corner. How about a little early holiday gift, though, just for you? Exclusive discounts on great products. We're talking about everything from fashion to technology to home goods. Just for HLN viewers, up to 60% off. More than half of Puerto Rico is still without power. The top commander leading the recovery effort, though, is planning to leave this week. Seen as Leila Santiago had exclusive access as he took one of his final tours of the island. Just a short time ago, uh, Jean Casara sat down with Elizabeth Smart. So you sat down with her for this one-on-one -on -one interview. She doesn't give a lot of interviews. You know, she's done, a, I, I think, a really admirable job of maintaining her privacy, mm -hmm. even when so many people wanted to know what had happened. Yeah. And she's helped to produce this film now. Right. And this movie is extremely, extremely uh, truthful because it is exactly what I heard in court. And when I started interviewed her minutes ago, she also talked about the library. Do you remember when law enforcement came? They were in the library. And she describes for me her thought process. And that's just, I mean, it just, so much of this really just blows your mind. And just, I go back to again how poised and, I mean, after everything that she has been through, yeah. even now so many years later, she also talked to you about the alcohol. And that I don't was think given people to her. realize this, but she very honestly talks. In but that was her age when all this happened, and she endured it for nine months. It's just, it really is unthinkable. And now, here she is. So what, is, again, as you point yes. out, you were there every day in that trial. Uh, and now to watch this movie. Did anything, I mean, you mentioned you had forgotten some of this stuff. Did anything else really surprise you in watching the movie? Based on be exactly the same way. Jean, yeah. it's, it's fascinating. I really look forward we'll to seeing the full interview. And we'll have it tonight on Primetime Justice, 8 o'clock Eastern. I will, I will be watching. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us today on The Story. I'm Erica Hill. Stay tuned. Michaela is next. You're watching HLN, news that hits home.